Hey, good evening YouTube. It's Brew by Me. How y'all doing? Good, I hope. Sorry, my phone's going off the hook here. Um, hope you guys are doing great. Anyways, I believe this is the last beer that was sent to me from Raining on Your Parade, Michael from Portland, Maine. Him and I hooked up and did a beer trade. Um, he sent me eight or nine beers. I sent him eight or nine beers. Um, so I think this is the last one that he sent me. I could be wrong. Um, but if I do see another one in the fridge uh, that was from him, because I know which ones were from him, um, I'll definitely mention him in the next one. So the last one from uh, Mike, Michael, uh, writing on your parade, go check out his channel, www.youtube. Uh, backslash writing on your parade. He doesn't have videos up of himself doing beer reviews or any of that, but he watches a lot of us. So this is his. This is from the Founders Brewing Company. This is the Double Trouble IPA. It rings in at 9.4% ABV. She a big boy. So 86 IBUs. Um, I'm a big fan of the Founders Brewing Company. They make great stuff. I've had all, every beer I've had from them. It's been fantastic. Um, you know, there's still some that I want to try from them, like the Kentucky Breakfast Stout and uh, a bunch of their other ones. So hopefully, I can get my hands on those at some point. I'm working on a couple of more beer trades come the fall, so we'll see what happens there. Um, a couple of them are from the states and uh, a couple of them are from Canada, so we'll see. Anyhow, I'm going to use my Samuel Adams Perfect Point Glass, which was sent to me by Nick of Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Go check out his channel. They, they, they call it the Perfect Point Glass, and I really like this glass um, for IPAs, just because of the design of it. I really want to get my hands on. There is another type of uh, IPA glass, which is really skinny at the bottom and it gets kind of, kind, of, kind of bigger and then it tapers out again similar to this one but not exactly uh, I can't. I don't remember what it's called so anyways without further ado standard founders cap double trouble IPA as you can see it's two guys one guy is the old guy one guy is the young guy if you flip it upside down you see there you go see he's happy and he's grumpy so Without further ado, let's crack her up. Some nice smokage there. Love it. So let's give it a pour. Alright. So I poured it a little aggressively to get some nice head there. Um, let's give it a smell, see what we think. Oh, well, you know what? Let me tell you what the color is first. The color is pale yellow. Very strange for an IPA. Um, you guys on the other end are going to see it as like an orange, but on my side it's a pale yellow. Nice finger ahead, it's tiny white bubbles, nice cap as you can see. So, let's give it a smell. Oh yeah. Definitely a hop case. Big, big pine. Big, big citrus. Some tropical fruit in there. Some caramel toffee malt, nice sweetness. Mmm, smells good. I'm gonna smell from the glass now. Oh, it smells awesome. As you know, I'm a, as most of you know, I'm a big fan of IPAs. Um, regular IPAs, double IPAs, triple IPAs. I don't care. I like IPAs. The only ones that I'm not 100% fond of yet, because I haven't found one that was actually made right. Alright, I guess. You know, I've had a few that weren't bad, but the black IPAs. Those ones, they're fairly new, so a lot of brewers, brewing companies are trying to make these things. And well, I haven't really had one I extremely fell in love with, but they've been, some of them have been good, but most of them have not been that great. So, um,. Yeah, often those big pine, big citrus, grapefruit, white grapefruit, um, pine, uh, uh, tropical fruit, maybe a little bit of pineapple mango. Definitely some caramel, like where there's caramel originals. Definitely some toffee. 
I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I need to drink. Cheers. This one's definitely for you, buddy. Wow. Okay. This, people, is a perfect example of a double IPA. Nice sweet maltness, followed by a big, bitter, big, bitter punch in the face. Like, it's only 84 IBUs, but it's well um, balanced. You know, you get a nice sweetness from the malt and a very, very nice bitterness from the hops. They did a very good job at the hops they used for this, and they did a very good job at adding the, the malt. So it's very, very well balanced IPA, double IPA. Is it a double? An Imperial. So yeah, it's a double IPA. Mm. It's really good. Oh yeah, top five for sure that I've had um, for Imperials. Um, but uh, the only thing that I'm kind of worried about is the color. Like the color is very pale yellow. It should be slightly darker, more uh, amber, a little bit more red to it than, than this. This is more like a pale ale color. But nice lacing, as you can see. Look at the glass. Nice lacing on the glass. Lacing uh, for you, those of you that don't know, don't know is the uh, white stuff on the side here. Um, when you get lacing on a glass, that means the beer is well crafted, ninety percent, ninety nine percent of the time. Uh, so yeah, I like it. I like it a lot, and I'm pretty sure that. Um, Guy from Beer Guy Reviews would love this one too because the, the nice big, uh, big, big hoppiness, bitterness. But the malt balances out extremely well, so even though there's that much hops in there, the malt just boom neutralizes it. So, anyways, take a swig of this thing right off the tip of your tongue. Nice sweet malt. As it rolls across your tongue, you get that big grapefruit, big pine, big tropical fruit. As it tapers out, it finishes very dry. And then you're ready for another Swiss sip. Now, no, this is not a sessionable beer at 9.4% 9, 9 ABV. Um, but it is a dangerous beer because you don't taste the alcohol. And it's very tasty. It's fairly tasty. So, if you bought a six pack of this, and drank all six beers in one night, you'd be pretty fucked up. Just saying. Um, so, yeah, like, if you guys can find it, if you guys can get it, go out, give it a whirl. It is the Founders Brewing Company, their Double Trouble Imperial IPA. And if you flip it upside down, look, the guy's smiling at you. Ha 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 ha. You see that? And now you got the grumpy guy. So. Um, yeah, um, not much more I can say about it. It's just phenomenal. It's a very, very good, good I Imperial IPA. Very well balanced. Nice hop presence. Nice malt presence. Um, you know, easy drinking. Um, Nine point four percent. So be careful with it. Um, you know. Uh, Slight bit of caramel there, um, you know. Anyways, uh, malt profile. I'm gonna say there's some two row in there. I'm gonna say there's some crystal malts in there. Um, hot profile, Simcoe, Simcoe, Simcoe hops, Citra hops, and Cascade. Simp go for pine, a citra for tropical, and 
cascade for grapefruit. <clears throat> there you have it. I told you what the beer looked like. I told you what the beer smelled like. I told you what the beer tasted like. I showed you the bottle. Upside right. Upside down. If you can find it, go get it. Give it a whirl. Especially for those guys that like IPAs. This is definitely, definitely one to try. Put it on your bucket list. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I didn't ramble too much. And if I did, tell me. Anyways, um, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. Leave any ideas, suggestions down there in the box. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. Cheers.